The CMC dual chip max screw plug-in uses 2D and 3D shapes to generate a sheet code in the form of a six-axis motion control. A 2D or 3D shape defining at least one pass of the dual path is required. CMC dual chip functions can assist with the generation and deformation of shapes. Shade building skills in the host software greatly expand user options. On launch, CMC dual chip creates a zero point object in the scene. Lead in and lead out moves are generated from the position of this object. It should be located to the desired start position for the job. Configuration to establish machine type is required. This example uses XYZ AD machine type. A axis is a table mounted. Symbol is attached to the axis. XYZ AD is selected. CMC dual kit creates sand and objects for stipulated rotary axis and cutter. Where rotary axes are part of the motion linkage to the spindle, distance between axes is given and dual tip is entered as offset for affected rotary axes. Offset value has no effect if rotary axes are not part of the motion linkage to the spindle. Launch CMC dual tip reopens the plugin with user settings in place. Dual clearance, cut depth, multi pass, and dual diameter settings have effect on dual path generation and processing. This example uses default values established in the CMC DualJet initialization file. A GMAX letter H keyboard shortcut shows a list of dialog allowing easy selection of a 3D shape. When generating dual paths, the resolution control setting is critical. Incorrect use of this setting causes CMC dual chip to apply unrequired subdivision to the dual path shape, greatly extending processing times. Angle control setting is mandatory for dual paths using rotary axes. Angle from reference surface calculates angles for dual path steps using object face orientation data. Reference surface is activated. The GMAX letter H shortcut shows the seamless dialog allowing the 3D link object to be nominated as reference surface. Tool path from shape initiates CMC dual chip calculations. On completion of calculations, a new multicolor dual path object is created in the scene. Blue lines are traverse or rapid motion. Green and cyan lines show plunge and retract. Red lines are cutting motion. Yellow lines indicate the cutting angle, reduced by angle control setting at each step of the dual path. Post processing the dual path simultaneously generates G code and an animated preview. Default post processor options will suit most users. GMAX must use the script listener option to capture G code output. Feed rate, plunge ratio percentage, and spindle speed values are applied in post processing. This example uses defaults from the CMC dual kit initialization file. Post processing is initiated. Efficient shade building pays dividends in reduction of the post processing execution times. CMC dual kit can be closed. The GMAX display panel is active. Hide by name is used to remove the axis stand in and the 3D shape from the view. The perspective view is expanded to run the preview. The GMAX forward slash keyboard shortcut starts preview playback. A axis rotation is shown by the stand in object. The dual path also rotates, maintaining sync between the cutter and path steps. It's not difficult to enhance previews by linking merge geometry to animated preview elements. This is helpful to ensure actual machine components will avoid collision. However, the basic CMC dual kit preview is adequate for display of dual motion throughout the cut. The Max Group menu Max Group Listener item opens a window to view and capture G-code. Content of the window can be saved quickly using GMAX SL Grab or GL2FE Script Grabbing Utilities. 
The flexibility and functions of GMAX as a 2D and 3D vector editor allow creation of a dual cast of G code from many different types of shape. Detail, intaglio, pocketing, and profiling dual casts can be created and combined to suit almost any user requirement. Shapes are easily adapted for rotary axis work using angular, round, and spherical and asymmetric forms. CNC toolkit generates, subdivides, and rejects 2D shapes to assist in planar and rotary axis relief tool padding. A 3D surface is used to visualize and adjust the effects of high map relief generation. GMAX can copy and paste deformation from 3D surfaces onto subdivided 2D shapes, reproducing 3D deformation effects in the shape. CNC toolkit spline projection can form subdivided 2D shapes to use a 3D geometry prior to application of high map deformation. This allows copy and paste deformation of shapes for relief tool padding using rotary axis configurations. This effect can also be reduced using wrap Borden's wrapper mesh group on imported 3 axis tool paths. Relief tool paths are by nature of much higher subdivision and require longer processing times. Processing time can be kept to a minimum by sectioning shapes, allowing processing memory requirement to remain within available RAM. This avoids use of much slower swap drive memory on hard disk. CNC Toolkit 5 axis relief processing ability was extensively tested during work to tool pass the shadow carving object. The digitized surface is from a living tree with dendrograph design and by photogrammatic survey. Geometry was sectioned to a known limit for tool pattern and processing. Deformed shapes are easily inspected prior to tool padding. With a little forethought, precise alignment is maintained across version machine vaccines. CNC tool kit slime rejection and machine back shading morphing functions were applied to create a multi-pass roughing tool pad. For the finished pass, various step over options were tested using a section of the object in free access cut preview software. CNC tool kit slime rejection was applied to a shape with subdivision equal to the tested step over value. Post processing generates G code for each segment. G code files are easily joined using an external editor. The entire task was assembled for checking in MC plot. Carving was successful with results approved by the client. Proof and cuts for CNC tool kit coding of a free access high map relief and high map vector tool pass. Proof and cuts for CNC tool kit coding a four axis tool pass to create a form in the lower image from the stock in the top image. Three and four axis proof and cut parts after some cleanup. Example work created using CNC tool kit G code. All of the work shown benefits from a remote method in CMC 43 or 2 tutorial content for GMAX and CMC Toolkit. See the site tutorials page for these resources.